we discuss about estimation of calcium and magnesium in plant samples first we have to take 500 milligrams of dried sample in 100 ml volumetric flask uh, that flask should be temperature resistant means either borosil or corning so that uh, when we heat it should not be broken down so then we take 500 milligrams of dried sample add 30 ml of diacid mixture in this diacid mixture we have to add nine parts of uh, nitric acid concentrated nitric acid and four parts of perchloric acid that means if you take 90 ml of concentrated nitric acid you add 40 ml of perchloric acid like that we have to prepare then you keep in a hot plate then start digestion it will take um, 10 minutes only 10 minutes it will take for complete digestion you can see the pictures You see, this is the starting phase. Starting phase, you will get uh, reddish brown fumes, perchloric acid and nitric acid mixture. Here, uh, after digestion, you can analyze uh, many things phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur. Sulfur also, you can do it because we are not adding sulfuric acid, only diacid mixture. So, you can estimate sulfur also, and micronutrients also, we can estimate. But we have to use pure quality distilled water without any contamination of iron see after digestion within 10 minutes you will get complete digestion in this hot plate we are using only 1000 watts uh, nichrome coil it's very cheap this heater it costs around, around this uh, ceramic plate uh, some 25 rupees and the Coil also some 25 rupees, while some 10, <coughs> 20 rupees. Totally within 100 rupees, you will get this set. It's very simple. It takes only 10 minutes for two samples. So each sample, you will be getting digestion by within five minutes. Total 10 minutes it is taking for two samples. So for each sample, you are getting within five minutes you are digesting the sample each sample okay then after that you have to make it mm, this is 100 ml volumetric plus make it 100 ml by diluting with distilled water and uh, keep in a bottle plastic bottle and label it the sample type of sample amount of uh, sample use and volume made and a date date of sampling you keep it and uh, you can estimate except nitrogen all types of elements you can estimate from this uh, digest now we are estimating calcium and magnesium for calcium and magnesium we complex the calcium and magnesium with edt standard edt we are using 0 0.01 normal standard edt next to ammonium ammonium chloride buffer we use for um, raising the ph in estimating com combined calcium and magnesium with EDTA. At the time, we use EBT indicator, erythrome black tea, 0.25 percent means 0.25 grams, means 250 milligrams per 100 ml of methanol or ethanol, whatever it may be, you can use, alcohol you have to use, and 10 percent sodium hydroxide. Per 100 ml, 10 grams sodium hydroxide you should use mm, for estimation of calcium. These are the reagents. Calcon 0.25 percent. In estimation of calcium, we can use this calcon 250 milligrams per 100 ml alcohol. Or if calcon is not present, we can use ammonium perchlorate. This is called Miraxide indicator. This also can be used for estimation of calcium. Here I have given how to prepare EDT. Dissolve 2 grams of ethylene diamine tetraestic acid in a 100 ml beaker and make it to 1 liter. It is approximately 0 0.01. We have to standardize with the standard calcium solution. Next, ammonium ammonium chloride buffer. How to prepare it? See, in ammonium ammonium chloride buffer, dissolve 
5 grams of ammonium chloride in 400 ml bottle and add 570 ml of 25 percent ammonia solution and make the total volume to 1 liter. EBT indicator. Next, EBT indicator we use in calcium and magnesium. Combined when you are estimating, combined we use EBT indicator. Ericrum black tea, 0.25 percent means uh, 0.25 grams per 100 ml and 10 percent sodium hydroxide. When we estimate separately calcium, we use this 10 uh, percent sodium hydroxide. Add 10 grams of sodium hydroxide per 100 ml of water. This is 10 percent sodium hydroxide. And calcon, when we separately estimate calcium, we use calcium, calcon reagent. Dissolve 250 milligrams of calcon in 100 ml of 95 percent methanol. Then it becomes calcon, 0.25 percent. If it is not there, ammonium perchlorate, directly we can use solid. Now, how to do calcium and magnesium combined test? Here, in calcium and magnesium, first we estimate calcium and magnesium combinedly, then separately we estimate calcium, then we deduct the value of calcium from calcium and magnesium, then we will get to separately magnesium. Like that, calcium and magnesium will calculate from this uh, by using this EDTA procedure. Suppose when you are estimating calcium and magnesium combinedly with the EDTA, now already we digest the sample. Um, we made 100 ml. Take 10 ml of digest from the two digest and uh, add this uh, buffer 15 ml of ammonium ammonium, ammonium ammonium chloride buffer. You add then mix it, then add EBT indicator 3 to 4 drops. Then color becomes uh, just like wine red or red color. Then after um, complexing with uh, EDTA, finally end point will be sky blue color. That is the reading of, note down the reading of EDTA, make it is uh, combinedly for calcium and magnesium. Then calcium estimation, calcium, how to estimate calcium estimation? Take uh, the same amount of uh, digest 10 ml and add uh, 2.5 ml of 10 percent sodium hydroxide and add calcon reagent. Nearly up to 1 ml you can add calcon reagent or at least some 5 drops or 10 drops. You should be able to identify the color clearly. Up to that extent you add calcon indicator. Then after titration you will get blue color. If it is not there you add muraxid. That muraxid indicator when you add for calcium First, it will be pink color. You can see here, these are uh, two colors. When uh, before complexation with the calcium, this is the color. After complexation, end point, this is a purple color. Pink and purple. Slight difference will be there. If you are able to um, clearly identify, you can use this. It is very simple. After uh, getting end point, you note down the end point of calcium. Then, how to calculate uh, calcium and magnesium? I will tell. Magnesium. Readings you will get uh, uh, by deducting calcium magnesium from uh, by deducting calcium readings from calcium magnesium. You will get the suppose if you get a title value for calcium and magnesium combinedly 7.4 and calcium reading is uh, 3 ml, then for magnesium the reading is 4.4. Like this, you will get now how to calculate uh, these things uh, calcium and magnesium. You see, calcium. Suppose title value you got TVML, not down TVML means normal T N. That means uh, when you are preparing 0 0.01, you will add this N. In, instead of uh, N, you will 0 0.01. Volume of digester taken for titration, VML. VML means generally we are taking 10 ml. Weight of the sample taken for digestion. Here generally we are taking 500 milligrams uh, sample. Total volume made with the water after digestion of the sample means uh, generally 500, five, for 500 milligrams after digestion we are adding to um, adding 100 ml means total volume we are making to 100 ml. Here equivalent weight of the calcium 20.039 grams. So formula for getting percent calcium present in the sample 20.039 into TV into N um, bracket started TD by TD means um, um, total diluted volume and V means uh, um,
TD title value mm, TVML N okay in EDTA total value made now we are uh, calculating um, calcium and magnesium here principal is 1 ml of 1 normal EDTA EDTA is equal to 20.0.39 milligrams of calcium or it is 12.1525 milligrams of magnesium if EDTA concentration different we should multiply with the concentration to get equivalent amount of either calcium or magnesium now calcium here we have to record six points one is the title value of the calcium TVML normality of EDTA solution N volume of the digestion taken for titration VML weight of the sample taken for digestion in milligrams W and total volume made with water after digestion of the sample TDML equivalent weight of the calcium 20.039 grams formula for getting percent calcium present in the sample is equal to 20.039 into TV into N into bracket begin TD by V at close divided by W into 100. Here for clearly understanding the things we will give the, an example here. You can see the example. You see. Here you can clearly see title value of the calcium TB is equal to 3 ml. Normality of EDTA solution here 0 0.01. Third point, volume of digestion taken for the titration, 10 ml we have taken from the digest. And the weight of the sample taken for digestion in milligrams is equal to 500 milligrams. Before digestion we have taken 500 milligrams. Then we made, fifth point, we weighed volume to 100 ml. From that 100 ml, for titration we have taken 10 ml. Then equivalent weight of the calcium is equal to 20.039 grams. By using these things, we calculate the calcium present in the sample. Calcium present in the sample is 20.39 into 3 into 0.01 into 100 by 10 divided by 500 into 100. Total, we got, finally we got 1.2%. You can see clearly 1.2%. In the same way, magnesium. How we have to calculate magnesium? First, we have to titrate for calcium and magnesium. We estimate calcium and magnesium. Then, separately, we estimate calcium. Then, we deduct. Suppose, uh, in this experiment, um, 7.4 we got total combined value for calcium and magnesium. And for calcium, we got 3 ml. Then, magnesium, titrate value is called 4.4. You see, Title value of the magnesium equal 4.4. Normality of the EDTA uh, N is equal to 0 0.01. Volume of digestion taken for titration 10 ml same. Weight of the sample taken for digestion in milligrams uh, same 500 milligrams. Total volume made 100 ml. Here equivalent weight of the magnesium is equal to 12.1525 grams. Therefore, by using the formula, magnesium percent in the sample. 12.1525 into 4.4 into 0.01 into 100 by 10 by 500 into 100. Finally, we got 1.06942 percent magnesium. Here my address. My name is Dr. Vivia Parov, principal scientist in soil fertility, soil chemistry and soil microbiology. I am working in Central Horticulture Administration, ICRCH Bekaneer Substation. It is in Vajalpur, Godra Baroda Highway, Vajalpur, Kalol Taluk, Panchmal District, Gujarat. My mobile number is, you can do WhatsApp whenever you want, you have doubt, you can clear um, by ringing to my phone. Mobile number is 87801257987801257. 87801257. You can do WhatsApp also. I can clear the doubts or any information regarding this, I can send. You ring to my phone number, mobile number. Okay, thank you very much.